is a great one pan dish that's full of everything you need, including rice, meat, spices, and some lentils. It's my Middle Eastern lamb and rice pilaf. Now I've just been preheating a pan here that has a lid. You want a pan that has a lid so it steams the rice nicely. So I like to start with some ghee. I like to use ghee for this. It's clarified butter, it has a lovely flavour and it won't burn at a high temperature. So you'll need a small tablespoon of the ghee. Let that melt and then we can go straight in with a finely chopped onion. We'll let that fry off. To that I'll also add some garlic, two to three cloves of garlic. I've already given them a good chop and we just want to saute them off to start softening. Pinch of salt and that'll just ensure they don't burn and some of the moisture comes out of them. While that's cooking, let's talk about the rice. Now, I'm using some basmati rice. Basmati rice, it's prized for its light and fluffy texture after it's cooked. It's a long grain rice. I like to wash it three times and then soak it for one hour, just sort of absorb some of that water. This will also help make it extra, extra fluffy as it cooks with our lamb. Now, back to the onions. They're looking good. They've softened up. We'll add the meat. Now, I'm using about 400 grams of lamb mince. It can be a little bit fatty because that's going to give our rice flavour. And we just want to break it up with our wooden spoon and get some colour on it. So just start to sear it off and break it up. So we've got little pieces of the lamb mince in this and coat it in the onions. Keep breaking it up with your wooden spoon. And once it starts to change colour, as it's doing now, we can add the spices. I don't want to add the spices too early because I don't want them to burn. I really want them to stay fragrant. So Middle Eastern flavours here. A combination of cumin, allspice and cinnamon. Cinnamon and lamb are fantastic. So we'll pop them in. And a little mix and just let them toast off. Right, in with our rice. So this is two cups of rice to 400 grams of meat. And I think this is a perfect amount for four people plus leftovers the next day. So we'll just pop that in and give that a stir and just coat all that rice in our meat. I need to add some more salt because we've got the meat in there and we've also got the rice. So we do need to season them both. And just to really bulk this up, I'm adding some lentils. This is totally optional. I had some leftover lentils and I think they go really nicely with the lamb and the rice too. So in they go. You could also use canned lentils for this recipe. So it's just a small amount of them folding through. And I'm just going to even that out. And then for the liquid. So we need about 750 mils of liquid. Essentially, we want to cover that rice. Lid goes on. And we're going to cook this for about 20 minutes or until all of that liquid has been absorbed by the rice. Now, while that's cooking away, let's get onto a few garnishes that are going to go with this beautiful pilaf. We'll start with a little, I like to call it a tabbouleh. It's not a classic tabbouleh, but it does work really nicely with this. We've got a pop of sweetness from some pomegranate. And my little trick with the pomegranate is to cut it in half and we want to get all these beautiful little jewels out. See this vibrant colour, just fantastic. So into a bowl, we're going to just pop the pomegranate in the palm of your hand upside down, grab a wooden spoon and then lower your hand into the bowl and give it a good tap. Good idea not to wear white when you're doing this because it can splatter. And we just want to tap as much as we can to get some of those beautiful jewels out. Another ingredient that's used a lot in Middle Eastern recipes just like this one. All right, that should do it. And you'll see there's little white parts in here. We'll just take that out. We don't want that in our tabbouleh. And to finish this off, some parsley and mint. I'm just going to pick all the leaves off and then finely chop it. I'll also add some chopped walnuts and some lemon juice. Right, the 
pilaf is almost ready, so let's make a very quick dressing to go with this. In this bowl, I have some tahini. I'll slowly drizzle in some water and incorporate it. And you'll see when you add water to tahini, it thickens up. And then as you add more and more, it'll loosen up. So we want this to be of drizzling consistency. So keep stirring it and just use the back of your spoon just to break up the tahini if it gets a bit lumpy. And once it's at that drizzling consistency, I'll add a splash of lemon and a pinch of salt. And that's it, that is the dressing done. Now let's have a look at this beautiful pilaf. I'll turn the heat off and, oh, you can see how much the rice has swelled up. I love how the meat and the lentils are just sitting on the surface there. This is so delicious. One of those dishes you just take to the table. You've got to take it as is, all dressed up in its glory. So let's add our tahini. We'll drizzle that over the top. Let it soak in slightly. And this little tabbouleh, sprinkle that over the top. I just love the freshness of the parsley, the crunch of the walnuts and the pomegranates. And I just think it needs that pop of colour right at the end. OK, let's have a look at this rice. I'll grab a portion out. Oh, look at that. It's fluffy. It's still really moist. And all of that meat's been evenly distributed. This is just such a delicious dish. And you can see how it's a little bit crunchy on the base. See that? That's the best part of the pilaf. So it's just a little surprise there. And if you like, if you've got some leftover of the tahini or the salad, you can always pop that on the table too and everyone can add a little extra of that. A delicious rice dish. How good are dishes when you only have to make it in one pan? And as I mentioned, there's so much there. There'll be plenty of leftovers for tomorrow.